Hello, everyone. Welcome to Master Word. In Year One, Lesson Three, Chapter Six, we will review some key points we have learned in Lesson Three. Key Point One: Even Number. Even number always has certain groups of two. First, let's write down all the even numbers we have learned. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. Twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. Good. Now, please let me show you something. Two plus two equals to four. Four plus two equals to six. Six plus two. Equals to eight. Eight plus two. Equals to ten. All right. Anything special? Yes. Two plus two. We get four. Four plus two. We get six. Six plus two. We get eight. Eight plus two. We get ten. All right. What does this mean? The difference between two adjacent even numbers is always two. Let's try more. Ten plus two equals to twelve. Right? Okay. Twelve plus two equals to fourteen. Fourteen plus two equals to sixteen. Sixteen plus two equals to eighteen. Eighteen plus two equals to twenty. Good. So, please remember the difference between two adjacent even numbers is always two. So that means in the future, even just by calculation, we can get whatever even numbers we want, and we do not need to count all of them one by one. For example, if you know a even number is twenty-four, what would be the next even number? Twenty-four plus two. Equals to twenty-six. You see. All right, let's try one more. Thirty-six plus two equals to thirty-eight. 
and then thirty-eight plus two equals two. First, we can break down numbers thirty-eight to thirty and uh, eight, and then we have a friends of ten. Eight and uh, two. Eight plus two equals to ten. Ten plus thirty equals to forty. All right. So please let me repeat one more time. The difference between two adjacent even numbers is always two. Good. Next key point. Key point two. Odd number. Again, let's um try to write down all the odd numbers we have learned. One. Three. Five. Seven. Nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five. Twenty-seven, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-five, thirty-seven, thirty-nine. All right. Again, let me show you something. One plus two equals to three. Three plus two equals to five. Five plus two equals to seven. Seven. Plus two equals to nine. Cool. So I think you already noticed the difference between two adjacent odd numbers is two. Is that right? One plus two, we get three. Three plus two, we get five. Five plus two, we get seven. Seven plus two, we get nine. How about nine plus two? Let's find out. Nine plus two equals two. All right, friends of ten, we break down number two. To one plus one. Now we have friends of ten. Nine plus one equals to ten. Ten plus another one. That's eleven. Right. Okay. Let's try some other odd numbers. Let's see, twenty-five. Plus two equals to twenty-seven. You're right. And thirty-three、uh, plus two equals to thirty-five. So again, twenty-five plus two. We can get twenty-seven. Thirty-three plus two 
we can get thirty-five. So please let me repeat. Just like the even numbers, the difference between two adjacent odd numbers is also two. So in the future, without counting, we can just calculate whatever even numbers or odd numbers just by the difference of two. All right. Please try to remember this. We will practice more in the future. Now let's look at K point three. Skip counting by five. First, let's review skip counting by five. Ready, steady. Let's go. Five. Ten. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Skip counting by five means we jump every five numbers. But in this chapter. I would like to show you something different. Five plus five—that's friends of ten, right? Five plus five equals to ten. You see, and ten plus five equals to fifteen. Fifteen plus five equals to twenty. Is that right? We can、uh, break down fifteen to ten and five. Five plus five equals to ten, and ten plus ten equals to twenty. Is that right? All right. Let's continue. Twenty. Plus five equals to twenty-five. Twenty-five plus five equals to thirty. Again, we break down twenty-five to twenty and five. So five plus five equals to ten. Ten plus twenty equals to Thirty. All right. Thirty plus five equals to thirty-five. And thirty-five plus five equals to. Again, we break down thirty-five to thirty and、uh, five. Now, five plus five, that's ten. And ten plus this thirty, totally forty. Good. So now, you can understand. Skip counting by five actually means plus five. Five plus five, we get ten. Ten plus five, we get fifteen. Fifteen plus five, we get twenty. Twenty plus five, we get twenty-five. Twenty-five plus five, we get thirty. Thirty plus five, we get thirty-five. Thirty-five plus five, we finally get. Forty. All right. So that means in the future, if we talk about skip counting by five, we can actually calculate, right? Okay. Very nice. Now, last key point for chapter six. K 
Skip point four. Skip counting by ten. You guys are very smart. If you can understand, skip counting by five means plus five. Now, skip counting by ten means. You're right. Plus ten. Let's check out. Skip counting by ten means we start from number ten. So, what would be the next number? Ten plus ten equals to twenty. And then twenty plus ten equals to thirty. Thirty plus ten equals to forty. Good. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Let's skip counting by ten. We haven't talked about numbers which are bigger than forty-one, but let's try. How about forty plus ten? What would be the next number? You are right. Forty plus ten equals to fifty. So fifty would be the next number. After forty, if we do skip counting by ten. All right. So in the future, if we talk about skip counting by ten, we do not need to do the counting one by one. We can also use calculation. Skip counting by ten means plus ten. All right. That's the four key points for chapter six. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for watching. I will see you in lesson three. Practice. See you.